Welcome and thanks for joining me for this uh, quick video, quick start here for the module five discussion board. This discussion board is really gonna focus us in on environmental quality. So we've talked about the environment quite a bit, but we haven't had an opportunity yet to focus in on environmental quality. And when we start to think about it, there really are many issues that are related to environmental quality from those issues that really might be local to your own yard, your own community, all the way up to those that are global. So this discussion board gives us a really good opportunity to learn from each other about issues that we identify that are relevant to, to environmental quality. So in the picture here, you're seeing one of the impacts of um, oceans becoming more acidic. So environmental quality in the ocean. And what the picture is showing us is the shells of a creature called the pteropod. These were from a lab experiment experiment that was done by placing the shells into progressively more acidic solutions over time. Uh, so with the bottom right being the shell that was placed in for the most time into the most acidic solution. And this is just one of many examples of environmental quality that you might choose to focus on in your discussion board. So as always, my goal for this video is to do a quick run through of the prompts for the discussion board and then take a look at the rubric. So let's get started. Okay, uh, with this discussion board, you're going to share an article that you, you, you find using the CR researcher tool in the Shapiro library, an article that relates to environmental quality. So for your initial post, you wanna provide an overview of the article that you chose that's related to environmental quality and then describe how environmental quality issues like the one that you chose relate to equity issues. You'll also want to identify who is being impacted by the issue and who's responsible for it. So as you draft your post, please remember to practice using key vocabulary terms. Now we've got a lot of vocabulary that we've talked about through the first four modules, this being module five, second half of the course, so make sure that you are adding in those terms as you write, as you draft your post. So you might be thinking about things like resilience or carrying capacity. Those are things that came out of the readings for this particular module. And as always, please make sure that you are reading and responding to each one of those prompts in order to receive full credit. Okay, next on the uh, reply or response post that you're making, you wanna select an original post to respond to and select it really carefully. Um, select it based on the environmental quality issue that that post is focusing in on. And here are the, a couple of things to remember as you're drafting that response post. So in your response post, you wanna focus in on what stands out about the issue. You know, why did you select that post to respond to? Specifically, why did the issue inform or change how you view environmental quality? Could be in a good way, could be in a bad way. And then explain the ways cultural diversity and equity are important in that particular environmental quality issue. Okay, really looking forward to reading those uh, posts and to the responses as well. Let's take a look at the rubric. So, you know, you've seen this rubric for four modules now. This is the fifth module, but what I wanna do is go through each row of it here and describe uh, what I'm looking for in response to this particular set of prompts. So for that top row comprehension that is all about your initial post, um, your post really, it described the environmental quality issue. Did it describe it in reader-friendly language? Did your original post use examples to demonstrate who's impacted, who's responsible? those kinds of things about that issue. Second row, of course, timeliness. Did you make your initial post before the Thursday night deadline? Really straightforward, really easy. The third row, engagement. This one is all about your response posts. So did you describe what stood out to you about the issues related to cultural diversity, to equity, and to environmental quality? And did you use examples in your response post? And then finally, of course, the last row, writing. Now, are your posts really clear, concise, are they easy to understand? Does the reader understand what your thesis and your point of view is in reading through that post? Okay, thanks so much for joining me for this quick start for our module five discussion board. I'm looking forward to reading your posts, to responding to them, to reading your responses to others. Let's have a great discussion. Thanks for joining me.